good morning. It's currently 5 a.m. I'm too tired to be talking. So we'll catch up in a bit, but I am just about to go to the airport. I need to be at the airport at like 6.30. Going to Gatwick because I'm going to Ireland today, to Dublin. I'm meeting my cousin there, so I'm gonna stay with her in her Airbnb. Neither of us live in Dublin, but she's just there on her way back from Kenya. So I just thought, might as well go for the vibes. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, I need to leave like right now. The car is outside to pick me up. I would have had to leave at like 4.30 to get the tube and they weren't running at that time. But yeah, I need to go. So we'll catch up in a bit. <laughs> It is currently 11.15. I have arrived in the Airbnb. The flight was calm, like it was literally one hour long. I didn't get um, the seat that I wanted. I asked for a window seat and someone else took it, <laughs> but it's fine. <laughs> It's, you know, not the end of the world. But yeah, I made it to the Airbnb. I really want to freshen up before we head out. Oh yeah, I took a cab from the airport using this app called Free Now. It's kind of like Uber, but here. Yeah. It was like 20 something euros for the whole journey. I'm not very hungry right now, but I feel like I'm going to be hungry soon. So I'm going to shower quick, freshen up, and then we'll be on our way once Ida has checked her schedule for the rest of the week. I say week, for the next few days. But yeah, there seems like there's a lot to do in the city centre, like loads of museums galleries just things to see touristy kind of vibes and um yeah should be fun so we'll catch up in a bit all right so me and ida hi <laughs> we are on our way we're just waiting for our car we're gonna go to the irish museum i have no clue what it's called i literally just booked it because i was like let's just think of something to do it's like the national museum oh my gosh so busy our taxi's here so we'll catch up <laughs> in a bit but we're going to a museum um maybe getting dinner and some stuff as well and just seeing around the area um, oh my gosh, I'm so... We'll have to catch up Guys, we finished at the museum. We're gonna go see if we can get one of these Boris bike-esque type things. Um, they're called, oh, Dublin bikes. That makes so much sense. 50 cents for one hour, which is fine. We don't need it for that long. Our plan right now is to try and find the spire. It's like, oh, there's an ivy here. I was just gonna tell you that. We should. should. I've never been to the ivy. <laughs> We're gonna find the spire, but we might just cycle there now. And you, and you
imagine butterflies. Oh yes, of course. It... Hmm? <laughs> Eating breakfast at the moment. I say breakfast. I just have some fruit. It's 9 a.m. I'm very tired. Obviously, yesterday I woke up at 4:45, so I feel like today has just been me catching up on sleep. I just showered. Ida has just showered as well, so she's like getting ready and stuff. I've got ready. I want to do my makeup, but at the same time, I really can't be bothered, so I might just leave it. Kind of a short day today. We're going to. This me why am I shaking? We're going to this museum, the Epic Museum, which is like the Irish Immigration Museum. And before you think any type of thoughts, it was voted Europe's leading tourist attraction in 2019 and 2020. So I'm really interested to see like what's in there. The photos and stuff look amazing. Like they look so, so, so cool. They've kindly gifted us some tickets. So we're gonna go check it out for a couple of hours and then make our way back, basically. Ida's got like a law conference thing in the afternoon and I have just got a bunch of work to do. That's basically the plan for today. Tomorrow's gonna be a bit more of like a exploring day. We've got like a bit more time, I'd say. Yesterday, I don't think I even ex said what we did properly. Yesterday, we went to the Irish National Museum and that was like arcade. Archaeology. Really interesting about the ancient Egypt stuff though. And then we, we tried to get those bikes to work, they didn't work, but we might try again today. And then we went to the spire, which is like that big metal spire in the middle of the street, which is quite cool. I love how each city kind of has their own like thing. And then got food at this place, I can't remember the name, but we just like went to a park, sat down outside and ate there, which was such a nice vibe. And I got this San Pellegrino, right? The the fridge just starts making noise. Um, I got the San Pellegrino, so good. It was like the grapefruit one, but it was green. Was it grapefruit? I don't know which one it was. It was green, highly, highly recommend. But yeah, and then we just ate, sat there, chatted for ages, and then we got the bus back. The bus, they use these like leap cards. It's kind of like an oyster card that you have to buy and then top up. Each single journey is two pounds 50, but yeah, better than taking a cab because we took a cab yesterday into town and it was like 20 euros, which is like almost like 17 pounds or something. So definitely better just getting the bus. And at least that way we can like see the sights a bit more, I guess. We'll catch up in a bit when we're ready to leave. I don't know if I'm gonna do my makeup, guys. I want to look nice. Nice, but at the same time, I can't be bothered. So I think we're gonna be stuck with this. Yeah. But yeah, we'll catch up in a bit. Hi. We've just finished in the Epic Museum. How did you find it? I enjoyed it. I think it was interesting. I think definitely if you're the type of person who likes museums, you'd appreciate it. Um, it was just interesting knowing all about like the Irish culture and the history and stuff. Like there's so much more going on here. There's so many people who we didn't, we would never have thought that they were Irish. Yeah, like, like Rihanna. Yeah, <laughs> and like, Obama as yeah, well. Yeah, like it's very, very interesting. Mm. Um, I feel like whenever I go to a new place, I just love seeing the the culture because mm. we don't really have that in England. But um, yeah, really interesting. Highly recommend. Thank you so much, Epic, for the gifted tickets. Really enjoyed our stay. Right now, we are gonna find like a little cafe kind of vibe yeah i'm really craving a donut so i want something like that just something sweet because it's lunchtime ish and then we'll figure out the plans from that but yeah thoroughly enjoy it <laughs> we'll catch up in a bit Bye. 
Alright guys, good morning. It's currently Wednesday morning. I'm waiting for Ida. We're about to leave. It's like 10 a.m. Yesterday was really good. We really enjoyed that museum. It was really interesting. Today, we're about to walk to the bus stop, get the bus all the way into the city center again, and just check out like a bunch of the other museums and stuff because this is my like last full day here. My flight is tomorrow morning. I have to leave here at like 8 a.m. in the morning to get to the airport. So yeah, we're just gonna try and make the most of this day. The forecast was saying it's gonna rain the whole day, so that's why I've got my like big jacket on and stuff. Um, um, oh, we booked tickets to the Trinity College library. It looks amazing inside. It's like you have to wait and see like I don't I feel like what I'm saying doesn't sound very exciting, but I promise you it looks really cool. So I'm really looking forward to it. There's some other things as well that we might check out. We were very kindly gifted uh, like Dublin Days Out Pass, which is like passed to like the top six attractions. So there's like the Little Museum of Dublin, which is like a tiny museum and a bunch of other places. But yeah, that's the plan. We'll come back around like 5, 5.30, do some work, eat dinner, and then we might leave again to go to this like comedy show that I found. We have to see, but that's the plan for this day. Do you have a mask? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna get the bus and then we'll see you guys in town. But I'm looking forward to this first museum. We're gonna go to the, the Molly first. Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah, so excited. What's been your favorite part so far? The museum we went to yesterday. Yeah, yeah. the Irish emigration thing. But anyway, we'll catch up in a bit. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> at the Molly Museum of Literature yeah, something, like, something that. like that um yeah, really interesting great. yeah I personally loved it yeah. I think I'm gonna update my most favorite thing that we've done yeah to say which, this yeah to say this yeah. I think the architecture inside was really nice it was cool seeing that first edition of this book called Ulysses by James Joyce I'm not a big reader but I still found it really interesting so yeah we're gonna make our way now to the little museum mm. And then we're gonna go to Trinity after that. It's like 12.30, so I spent quite a bit of time here. But yeah, we'll catch up in a bit. We're gonna make our way now to the next location. I have... at the little museum it's like to be fair we weren't there for that long it's 120 okay no we we're there for kind of a while yeah just under an hour right now we should chill for a bit and then make our way to trinity because the bookings were 2 30. Uh, this place was really interesting what did you think it was super cute yeah like it was tiny mm -hmm. as they said like it is a little museum mm -hmm. but it was so cool it was kind of like i don't know if you've seen one of my previous videos where i went to the museum of brands in notting hill it was kind of like that because they had quite a lot of that sort of stuff. Where Check like, that video out, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> link in the description. Um, but yeah, it was kind of like that. It gave me that same vibe. But yeah, really liked it. You know, highly recommend.
arrived home finally back in London. It's like four something right now. I got back at like 2.30, I wanna say. It wasn't even that long of a day. I woke up at like 7.15, 7.30, left our Airbnb, went to the airport at like 8.15, 8.30, which was way too early because I had already checked in and I literally just had to go through security and wait. So yeah, very early. <laughs> but yeah, I got to the airport, just chilled there for a bit, got on my flight. My flight left at like 11.20 and then landed in Gatwick at 12.00. 40 and I find it very weird right because I got off the plane and then literally got on the train like there was no security no passport checks nothing which obviously I understand because Ireland is like in the common travel area and it's like basically a domestic flight in a way but I still think that was very strange for them not to be any like double check of at least our like COVID certificates do you know what I mean but anyway mmm by the way, if you've never tried this, Innocent Bubbles, this is the lemon and lime one. Absolutely amazing. I stopped over in Sainsbury's on the way back because it was like on the walk. But yeah, had lunch, just chilled for a bit, but now I have to get on with some work, catch up with all the work I haven't been doing this whole week. That's basically it. Yesterday, we were so tired when we got back to the Airbnb. We literally just ate dinner, watched Netflix and slept. And my hay fever was so, so, so bad. So I was in bed for a lot of the time. But yeah, anyway, so relevant. Um, hope you enjoyed the vlog. Hope you enjoyed this whole video. I'll link everything in the description like all the stuff we did so if you're ever in Dublin you have you know some ideas on what to do thoroughly enjoyed the trip it was a nice like short city break I don't think you need that much time honestly you could have done all of those things in like two days but we had to like kind of do other stuff in between but yeah thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed if you did enjoy don't forget to like comment subscribe turn notifications on so you don't miss any videos all my social media links will be in the description below so feel free to follow me I'm gonna go now but I'll see you next time so bye <laughs>